Previously on Sailing Rum Punch. We got pretty dusty on the last episode, managing to sand the majority of the saloon. We are going for Dexter Murder Lab style. I'm so itchy as well. Yeah, it's really, really itchy. Ben bailed the bilge, again, and whilst I was grinding all the grime off the bottom of the boat, Ben managed to remove all the plumbing. We've opened up a pipe for some water that's been sat there for a while that is stinky. Oh, just a reminder, we will be doing a Q&A really soon and we'd love to answer any questions you may have. So please get in touch or leave a comment. Yay! <laughs> Keep watching as we continue to juggle our full-time jobs around this epic project. Oh, oh, I felt the rain. Oh, okay, it's raining. Hatches. 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 We found that sanding with the orbital sander, trying to get the grime off the hull, isn't a quick way of doing it. It took a few hours yesterday to, to get a little bit of grime off, so we know that the grinder is, a, is better at sanding. The only problem we have is it kicks up so much dust. I bought this off Amazon, it was about £30, and it's a dust shroud, so hopefully it will maintain decent dust management like the orbital sander. So hopefully it's easy to use and the vacuum will fit. I managed to get almost one side done. I've got the rest of it to do, the other side and the, the bottom. I'm using the grinder today um, with a dust shroud on it, so hopefully it might go a bit quicker than yesterday. But I'm actually quite impressed with how much I did yesterday. I didn't think I did as much as I've come back and seen. I got my gloves on, I am ready. So we have pretty much finished our first sanding of the entirety of this space. We found some fun little, hopefully not issues, but um, more than likely, more than likely issues. <laughs> he dead. <laughs> He's a creepy these masks. All we have is this empty shell and all I want to do is like build stuff into it. I want to see what it's going to look like and it's very difficult to get motivated and stay positive when it's just all you're doing is emptying all the time. So we want to paint but then we also need to take the chain plates off. There's no point painting until the chain plates are off. We want to put the floor down but we can't put the floor down until I've changed up these wooden supports. So we'll wait for wood to arrive and we've got to sand that as well and paint. It's just all these jobs that there's just one after another and it's we're not losing the faith. I'm definitely not moaning, but like we just want to see some progress now. I feel quite good after sanding all of that, like I feel like we've got some progress done. It's good to see a different colour and all the grimes off of it, off the floor and everything, so that's that's nice to see. It's not nice to uncover extra issues that I don't really know about, but <laughs> It's all part of the job, isn't it? It's all part of the job. Let's crack on mate. Let's do it. My ears. Yeah, I say your ears are like glowing. <laughs> They're like backlit. We sanded out the bottom of the hull here, and as we did that, we uncovered this very large crack, and there's a little smaller one behind me. I did some, we did some research, and we asked some people online, and it has come down to the fact that it's just such an old boat that the, the top here has just hardened, and it's just cracked over time. It's not the result of a hard grounding or anything that we need to be concerned about. It is just age, which is a good thing. What I've done here is I've got the sander and I've beveled the top and then washed it out. The liquid in here will have a very oily, like resiny substance in it. So I've poured loads of water in and I've scraped it all out. I've got the Aquavac, sucked it out, put more water in, jiggled it around again. We've done that about five or six times. So now it's just clean water coming out of here now. We're now gonna dry it with a heat gun. I'm gonna, mi I'm gonna mix up some epoxy with some, uh, a little bit of 406 filler, and then we're just gonna pour it in 
and let it set. Hopefully that'll be the trick. So it is finally epoxy time. I've got my wet system 105 resin, which we're going to mix with the 205 fast hardener because of the temperature. It's very low temperatures at the moment. I have got heat running in here, and so it's not too cold, so it should kick off in about 15 to 20 minutes, should be the gel time. I've got the pumps to make it a lot easier, so I just need to do one pump to one pump with the correct five to one ratio. I'm going to mix it for a minute with a stirrer in a cup. I'm going to pour the resin into the crack, up to the top of the crack, and then it's going to be thickened epoxy on top of that, but I won't do that until it's started to gel. I've already wiped it with the dry cloth, and now I'm just going to use some acetone just to wipe the surface area to make sure there's no grease or anything. There probably isn't because I've just ground it out, but that's what it says to do, so I'm going to do that first. It's my second day in a row without Ellie. She's taken work. Um, which is necessary, but it's sad because I'm completely unmotivated when she's not here. And things go so much faster and we can at least chat and keep each other company and make each other laugh and it, it does make the whole day go a lot quicker. We don't think we're going to get too much more boat work done before we go away. Tomorrow is our last day on the boat for a while, but it's the only time I can go and see some friends. And when you work in our industry, it's really important to grab those opportunities because you never know, one of you is always going to be away. So as soon as you find a time when you're both not working, you make that time to see each other. it's a change of plan but I'm going to move on from the cracks down below for now. I think yesterday I screwed myself over by going into the epoxy stage when I first came onto the boat. Um, I've still got loads of sanding to do but once I put that epoxy down I realised that actually I can't really do anything else because I didn't want any dust or any grime to get into the epoxy while it was curing. So I'm going to put the thickened epoxy down tonight. It's going to kind of be the last thing that I do just so that I can set it and then leave but for now, I've reinstated the flooring because I need somewhere to put the tripod and the sight lights. And I'm going to set up a little workstation with some workhorses, put some ply, I'm going to start cut cutting some wood. I'm going to sand back the bulkheads. I'm going to fill all the holes. Um, I need to re-glass where they're tabbed to the hull. So I'm going to focus mainly on doing things like that today. So then just before I leave, then I'll take the floor back up put the thickened epoxy in, fill any holes in the bulkheads, and then leave it overnight. I bought these little hygrometers, which are amazing. I just put these around the boat, and I've got an app on my phone, and it just constantly registers temperature and humidity, so I can make sure I know that the epoxy is gonna cure okay. I filled them in and I've gone on with the little scraper and flattened them off. And it looks extremely satisfying. I also went back and did our little block so that's in there. But all in all, I think that's pretty decent for a first attempt. I'll get the rest of these done, fill that gap in, and I think we're on our way. Off to work for four months and we put the boat to bed. <laughs> Ready? Go. We don't like leaving but we have to go to work to fund the renovation. Hopefully when we get back after four months we have a long period of time we can just really focus on her, getting her ready, getting her back in the water. But the exciting part this time round is that we get to go international. We'll be going to Germany, Australia, New Zealand, back to London. It does tear the edge off and it does 
bit more exciting to earn the money to be able to renovate her. So once we get back, we'll have hopefully had a very, very hectic but rewarding time and we can take the summer off and put our heads down and just get her ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, I really don't like leaving the boat, as you can tell from my voice. <laughs> See you in four months. Or tune back in two weeks and find out what we've been up to. See you then.